Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the St. Joseph's Hawks and the Seton Hall Pirates. Number 14 is brings a calm senior leadership that his team needs on the floor. He shows the grand determination of the classmen, Brad. The Pirates will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Pirates might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. First, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Second of all, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. And finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Looks at a three. Oh, yes. Both teams looking to get things going here. They're working around the arc. Coming. Handles the pass. He looks for three. He hits the shot. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Got it. Trying to feed the low block. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The power forward receives the pass. He gets the shot to fall. He puts up the tray. Great shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Dribble gives it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Try to go inside. Seton Hall have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Trying to feed inside. There's a double team waiting there. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble act here and turns it over. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Gave it up. Prince handles the feed. He puts up the three ball. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBM, nothing but nylon. Dumps it in. There's a bad pass. What? He gets the rejection. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball in this And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Fires it down. What a high riser. He's the elevator man. On the dribble, gives it up. They look to get it to the inside. Wagner fakes the shot. Fakes the shot. Tries for two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Basketball. Unloads a three. Sinks it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a first player has to be able to read what the defense gives you.
Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. With a bucket. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with you. By town, our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Sets the screen for his teammate. Prince receives the ball from downtown. Momentary look from three-point land. Way off target. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Controlling the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Steal. Go up the other way. Get a layup. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hack. shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Ryan is fired up and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Double team now, bad angle. They're working around the perimeter. Good job defensively. It's a fast break possibility. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops? That's eight unanswered. Moving it around the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Pump fakes. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Entry pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Pirates have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Kicks it out. From left of the circle, he drains the bucket. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. St. Joseph's are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Great play to take that to the basket. He 
intercepts it. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And they get the turnover. Fakes a jumper. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Pull up jumper from way out. Let's see the replay. Nice high post screen. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up fake. He hammers it home. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Both teams looking to get things going here. My goodness, players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, it just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Foul called. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Hawks go to the line for the first time in this game. It's that one. Gets the second. The defense senses a five-second call. Nice little jam right there, the one-hand jam and stuff. A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Went away from the post and goes the other way. On the outside. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. On the outside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Full court pass. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. the perimeter this young guy is a crowd favorite dick he means so much to the program he's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level gave it up i love that block shot brad really gives you a lot of momentum off the rim and no good he puts it in with contact and all Oh, 
Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball on the deck. Where's he going? Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Look at perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. From left of the circle, he nails the shot. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket, the Hawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Look at that spacing. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure on the basketball. Way off target. Number 15 takes it away. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. He comes away with it. He pushes it up the floor. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Easy one. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And his shot rejected. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Got some room. From the top of the circle. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. <laughs> Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The skip pass is picked off. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He strips him clean. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the inside. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. For two. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> they get that rejected. Inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Hardy draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Oh, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all.
The Pirates will step to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. This BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the rim and no good. Over plays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. See if they go two for one here, Dick. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. Stolen. Shot clock is dead. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. From three-point land, it's good. At the half, the Hawks are ahead by five. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Seton Hall has struggled to control the boards in that first half, Dick. They're not playing with the same intensity and passion that I'm growing accustomed to seeing. The coaching staff must be a wee bit worried about what is going on with their squad. Start of the second half, Dick. Our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Moving it around the perimeter. On the inside. Tries for two. Hardy is receiving a lot of support from the fans. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for it. Top of the circle, way off target. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. There's the fake. Thinks about the shot. Goes up for two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? They move it into the front court. He attempts the trifecta, makes it. Let me hear you say replay, baby. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Seton Hall are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Jumped in front to take it away. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Steals a pass for two, perfectly executed. Number 15 is encouraging the fans to keep cheering. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. Here's a double team. Number 15 steals the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Stolen away. They push it up on the break. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. On the outside, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picked off. And the fans are going wild. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Number 15 is called for the foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. It to go. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. And a shot block. They come the other way. For the bucket, you betcha. Kicks off the lazy pass. Top of the circle, he buries the shot. They should have gotten it through him about a second earlier. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? 
He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? He steps up to the line. That's a my line. NBA. That's a 10-zip run. has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. There they come with a double team to stop it. Number 15 grabs it. Here they come now on a turn. There it is, Jam City. That's a 14-0 run. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From the baseline, off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the screen up on top. There's the trap. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to draw some contact. He gets it to fall. to get it inside with a low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, during practice, he shared with me he puts so much pressure on himself. He knows he needs to lead his team in many statistical categories in order to get his teammates rolling. We'll continue to monitor his performance throughout the rest of the way. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. From right in the circle, Prince makes a trade. The Hawks are down by 12. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. He uses the shot fake. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. The ball handler might be in trouble here. Count that as a personal foul. Full house, 
And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I'll tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the home team. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Seton Hall is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Intercepted. Gave it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ball goes out of bounds. post outside jumper that was nice the Pirates are up by 15 he tries to knock down the three he drains the shot Dribble gives it up, and he'll kick it back outside. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Up and inside! He shoots from left of the circle. He drains it. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three, way off target. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Moving it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. Seton Hall have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The basket counts for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the main basket the meat or the potato stick? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line with the gravy. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. It's good. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Got an open look if he wants it. Goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to get eye, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Tries to get the D to bite. Bucket. The Pirates have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. There's a double team waiting there. Here's a flash from the post up high. Down inside. Nobody rotated down from the top. That's why we have instant replay cameras.
comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Pirates have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Takes the pass in the paint. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Aggressively grabs the ball. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. For two. High post screen. St. Joseph's are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. Looks at the three. Drains it. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. Dumps it in. Double team now. Bad angle. Foul charge. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What a silly foul right there. But look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The fans are definitely making a difference here, Dick. This is what I call home court advantage. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. He intercepts it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Finger roll. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Gives it up. Takes away the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Great defense. Looking to run now. He throws it up from downtown. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, Brad, their shot's a little... And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Just like in practice. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gave it up. Not getting great looks in terms of perimeter threes. Defense really extended on that perimeter line. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may land up on a bench. Long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He blocks the shot. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. it up. Here's a double team. He's open if he wants the shot. From three 
three-point range. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby. He hits it. Picks off the lazy pass. Here's the offensive drop step by low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The crowd voices their approval. What a response they're getting. What a response. What enthusiasm. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Defense giving some room. The Pirates have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Hunts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Puts up the tray. He drains the bucket. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? Dick? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by follow Brad. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Makes the front end of the one and one. It's the second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And yet another foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion. What an edge for the home team. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Fires it. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep falling. And the clock stop with a foul. They will line them up. Makes it. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes the second shot. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Oh, and you 
you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. Moving it around the perimeter. The power forward with the ball. Nick, we look now that the game is over at our focused player, and I don't know if it was the defensive focus by the other team. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Seton Hall wins in this very competitive outing tonight. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. So for Dick Vitale and Eric.